I'm Alex. We are finding glory. This is Kodo. He's this got hair. Kodo. He's got hair everywhere right now. He's a little camera shy, so I'm just gonna hide his face here. <laughs> so today we're gonna be covering my area of expertise. We're gonna be talking about movies. Movies. And let me tell you, I see all the movies. Way too many movies. But that's not all we're doing. We're also talking about music. Music. I listen to a lot of music. He watches a lot of movies. Figured we try out this thing once a month. We'll talk about a little bit of music, a little bit of movies that we've experienced throughout the month. Our first attempt at a music and movies of the month. Movies and music. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Before we start, hey, big thanks to all the people who came out to our show yesterday. Yes. At the time of shooting this, this was yesterday. Yes. So our show that we talked about on Sunday, 8:28, that was super fun. We're really grateful for all the people that came out and supported us. Kind of felt like we were just jamming out in the living yeah. room and like just had a bunch of friends and family over, a little intimate hangout, just sharing our music with them. And if you missed it, you can watch our last video, which was a cover of Stay by Alessia Carr. It's one of the songs we played at our show, and it's just a it's just a one take performance of it. It's a lot of fun. Hope you dig. And here's to the next one. That's exactly how it goes too. What an accurate portrayal. For the people that went to the show, you know very well how my piano skills played out that night. I was I am a self-proclaimed unpaid professional movie critic. I see pretty much every movie that comes out. August was like a really slow month for movies. Feels like the biggest release was Bullet Train, which I did go see. And it was a lot better than I expected. I had a lot of fun. It's from director David Leach, who did Deadpool 2 and the uh, Fast and Furious spinoff Hobbs and Shaw. And if you've seen either of those, you know exactly what to expect. It's a lot of over-the-top action, it's a lot of humor, it's a, a lot of adult humor. Brad Pitt was as fun as ever as this uh, assassin who, he's, he's crossed a threshold in his life where he wants to be a pacifist. <laughs> lady i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm i'm working on it there's a lot of really well staged action a surprising amount of cameos aaron taylor johnson brian tyree henry was that two people with three names or three people with two names i am not gonna tell you but together the two of them were oh sh i just told you <laughs> They're, no, they're, they're a great duo as Lemon and Tangerine. I would watch a spin-off of them any time. 16 kills, mate. No, 17. 16. I'll smash my head through a brick wall. Maybe that'll help your memory. What it is, it's just a bunch of assassins on a train together, but they don't know they're all on a train, and they're all there for different reasons. It's just this tangled spider web. There's all these moving parts. You don't know how it's all going to come together. At one point, like a deadly snake gets loose on the train, and you're just waiting the whole time for it to pay off. It's just a lot of fun. Maybe a little bit too long. Like, maybe 20 minutes too long, but if you're looking for a good time, I do recommend Bullet Train. Ah, All right, for my music segment, I'll be talking about the new Lizzo album. I'm trying to hold it like like I'm Jimmy Fallon. Um. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's like an angel in this photo. Look at that. So for one of my um, albums of the month, this special album, it's called Special, and it's very special to me. I've just been jamming out to it almost every day since it came out. My top three as of right now, it changes. But right now I'm gonna say my favorites are Special, Girls, and Coldplay. If you haven't listened to this album yet, you definitely should. I just love how encouraging and motivating her music is and just the messages i am a songwriter at heart so i just love a good song with a good message oh, i highly recommend 
if you haven't taken a listen yet, go on and listen to your album, turn it up in your car, and set yourself up for a good day. And remember, you're special. Yes, you are. Broken, but damn, you're still perfect. I love that. Love you, Lizzo. Where my girls, where my girls at? Ooh, ooh. This next one is going to be very niche. It's not going to be for everybody. I like to spread the word about unusual films. Because I love variety so much, I tend to keep a close eye on mainstream releases and also non-mainstream releases. So I was really surprised when a friend of mine started talking to me about his favorite movie of the year called Strawberry Mansion, and I hadn't heard a single thing about it. Strawberry Mansion premiered at Sundance in 2021, but it was officially released this year in February. And I got around to watching it this month, of course. Now just listen to this tagline, okay? Because I think it sells the movie so well. Okay. In a future where the government records dreams and taxes them, a dream auditor gets caught up in an aging eccentric's dreams. <laughs> Doesn't that sound wild though? Yeah, it's pretty wild. The execution is, is just as mesmerizing as you would hope from that description as well. It's got vivid colors and a dreamy score that washes over you and brings out all the surrealism of the narrative. They even transferred the footage onto film, like 16 millimeter film, and then mm -hmm. back onto digital so that it looks like it was shot on film. It's got that patchy kind of grainy film style and I think it complements the movie's tone really well. Uh, it's weird, it's strange, all right? You're not gonna like 100% get it. I didn't 100% get it, but that's okay. It never really feels like it's meandering. It does have a driving force. There's a character dynamic that's really easy to latch on to. He's boring, he's number crunching, he's an auditor, and he's gotta go spend all this time with this old woman. She's She's got this colorful personality and all these wild, crazy dreams, and the dreamscapes that he gets caught up in, you start to confuse them. Is it the real world, is it not? I love that. I'm a sucker for like surrealist dream logic on screen. I, I love David Lynch, these old movies like Eraserhead and Twin Peaks. I liked Inception, that's a more modern example. That might not be your forte, and if it's not, then maybe you shouldn't watch this movie. I will give you this one clip. Out of my hair and into my home, to enter, you must lick the ice cream cone. No, thank you. Smell thing, dear. that doesn't get you interested it's probably not your thing <laughs> i'm gonna watch this that, movie now. that was a perfect representation of the movie okay <laughs> if it doesn't grab you then that's it don't even try for my next album we have harry's oh! house I like this one. I know this one. Harry Styles has won me over. I'll go on record and say that I, I think Harry Styles is a very talented artist. That is something we definitely agree on. He's very talented with his music, his writing, his singing, his acting now. Yeah, he's in the MCU now. He is. I'm Eros, and you are as beautiful as legends say. Spoiler alert. We've been jamming out to this album a lot, actually. From the first track, Music for a Sushi Restaurant. So much fun. Right off the bat. It's just a really fun feeling feel good song like many of the tracks on the album it's fun it's zany look he's standing on the ceiling how are they doing that right it represents the music it's it's crazy it's a different sound for him it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to dance to <laughs> daylight i enjoyed when he made the music video with james corden <laughs> That's a fun one. I just love all the tracks on here. It's definitely different from all his other albums, so I would definitely recommend to give this one a listen. This next one is one that you have actually seen. It's Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. You might know it as the A24 movie with Pete Davidson in it. But there's a whole group of fun characters. This was a movie full of characters that just suck. They all, they're all terrible. They're all Gen Z's. <laughs> there might be some Gen Z people out there that can relate to it. Or maybe don't want to relate to them, but can. It's a bunch of Gen Z's in a house. During a storm. During a hurricane. Yeah. They're, they're rich and they're spoiled. And then it's going to turn into like a whodunit. 
a murder mystery. I enjoyed the movie more than I thought I would. I thought it was garbage in the beginning, but as the movie went on, I was I was in it. It grabbed you. Yeah, it just it yeah. kind of pulled me in. Yeah, it starts off in a way that you're gonna be like, what? Why, why am I watching this? Because they're gonna be introducing you to a bunch of characters that are just none of them are really that likable. I right? thought it was funny. <laughs> Just the whole movie oh, and the yeah. characters. They it were, is funny. Because they were really good at being Gen Z. I like your podcast, Alice. What is your podcast about? Hanging out with your smartest and funniest friend. Did you just groan? No. When I said hanging out with your smartest and funniest friend. Like that. Like that. Did it again. It's, it is a comedy. It's a full-on horror comedy, which those two genres share a lot more DNA than you'd think. And this is a this is a full-on satire comedy. It's making fun of Gen Zs. One of them dies, and then you just watch as the relationships between them they just crumble. And it's all due to like how they treat each other and and how they see the world and how they act. It basically is a commentary on how we talk to each other online. First of all, a podcast takes a lot of work. Okay. You have to organize the guests, you have to do a Google Calendar, and, and you, you build a following. It takes a lot of time, and I've been working on it for a while. Not going to give away who did it, but I will say that the ending is incredibly satisfying. Yeah. I love to see her face in daylight. It's more than just a body. I do want to talk about an artist that I have discovered recently from a good friend of ours. Shout out to Vinny. He um, recommended a good listen to Leon Bridges. If you are looking for some good R&B soul music to jam out to, Leon Bridges is a very talented artist. Nice soulful music to vibe out to. Actually, you know how Vinny found Leon Bridges? How? Through me. No way. Yeah. I, I saw him perform on Saturday Night Live. Recently released his third album, I think. But yeah, yeah oh, soulful. I would love to hear more Leon Bridges in mainstream music. I don't really have any more that I want to like dive deep into, but there are some honorable mentions. I saw Emily the Criminal. Um, every Sundance season, Aubrey Plaza stars in a wonderfully crafted independent film. We had Ingrid Goes West, we had Black Bear, and now we have Emily the Criminal. And um, 3,000 Years of Longing, I love George Miller, but this wasn't his best. But I liked it. That's all. My honorable mention would be One Life by James Bay. Yeah, it's funny because Ed Sheeran actually came out with a song called One Life. Both beautiful love songs, but I really love the hook in James Bay's One Life, but the verses I love in Ed Sheeran's One Life. Feel free to take a listen to both. Both of them. Both. Both of them. Are amazing songs, amazing artists. Comment below at which one you like better. One Life, James Bay, or One Life, Ed Sheeran. One Life, I want you in it. today thank you for watching hey did this segment work are you gonna watch or listen to any of these things movies and music of the month yeah. maybe maybe not let us know in the comments let us know with likes or like. dislikes thumbs up thumbs down middle check out our other videos subscribe check. bell hit the notifications the ding hit those so that you know when we upload our next video also follow us on social media because we have a TikTok. we got we got an instagram she does a wonderful job of posting to them. I'm sorry, I can't. Look at Kona right now. <laughs> wow. So fluffy. He looks like a frog with his little, like, no frogs have that air bubble below their mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Okay, that's it. We're gonna go now. Alright, go down. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye.